Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to patch a Super Pocket to allow it to play games through an Ever SD, which you see there. So essentially, what you're going to be doing, you'll be going to the Hyper Megatex website and updating the firmware. Uh, you plug it in once you've downloaded the firmware update it and then just click update. After that, you'll be downloading the Super Patchy software again, plugged in. You update the firmware on the device or patch it through EverSD's patcher. And then the third and final step is essentially downloading something called Everloader, which is an interface where you load all of your ROMs. You can add descriptions, titles, box art. You can choose what emulator you want it to run through. That's if you download RetroArch later down the line. Uh, you can just rely on the internal stock emulators, which is what I've done, and I've had no issues so ever. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's essentially it. So I'm going to flick over to the computer now, and I'll show you the process. So step one, you're going to go to Hyper Megatex website, simply type these into Google, and you're going to hit the support page. Now, these are all the consoles that they do currently. Uh, Currently, as far as I know, Capcom and Taito are the only ones that work with this updating software. They haven't released anything for these, so I'm guessing that they've already updated these already. The only thing this updater does is allow you to use EverSD, because you can't use this unless you've updated these. And also, I think there are some games on Evercade cartridges that don't work that well. So that fixes a few little bugs as well. So you're going to go down to Super Pocket Updater for Windows and click that. Uh, and then you're going to go to the Ever SD website. Again, these just easily typed in Google and it's the first option. Then you're going to go to More, go to Downloads, and then go to Super Pocket. So now you're going to download this one here. This is called the Super Patcher. And when you've got your device plugged in, you're going to simply click patch and that lets your device run the EverSD cartridge. Without this, you can't plug a cartridge in and play games from it. And we're going to go down just a little bit more. And then this is the Everloading software. We're going to click download here as well. If I go down just a little bit more, you can see here. The window opens up, you load all your ROMs into here, you can add your description, the date, the box art, all that sort of stuff. And then uh, you can find the card you've plugged in and then sync all of this over to the memory card. So when you've downloaded that, there is one final option if you haven't got this already. Again, simple Google search for something called Rufus. So Rufus allows you to format the memory card to FAT32 and a couple of other options for allow it to recognize with Everloader. And again, your download is just there. So uh, I've already got this, but I'm going to download it because it's not in my download folder at the moment. So let me just click off that. Hope you like my wallpaper. It's a brilliant film picture. Uh, so when you've got your download folder open, you'll have the Super Patcher, you'll have Rufus, Pocket Firmware Updater, and Everloader. So those four items there are going to be all you need for this video. So we'll hit step one now. I'm going to switch back over to the camera and show you the process of updating it with the firmware updater. Okay, so the next step is to update the software on the device or the firmware with Hyper Megatex firmware update it. And we simply open that and choose whatever edition you want, Taito. So I've obviously clicked Taito. And then we're going to need to put the device into flash mode. So to do that, we uh, hit volume up, hold that, and then switch on the device there. Keep holding that and you'll hear your computer pick up the device.
There we are. It's important to keep holding the volume up button whilst you're doing this. And it probably will take a few goes. Super, so now that's done, we can click off that. Now the next step is to head to the super patching software, which is this one here. And then we're going to open that. So the first step that you should be doing with this is hitting backup. So what you're going to be doing with backup is backing up the original firmware. So if you wanted to sell this or revert it back to stock, you can easily do so by hitting backup. So I'm going to click yes. Again. Ah. I've already done this. Right, so head to this PC when yours is backed up. Head to this PC. Go to Users. Your name is obviously going to be different than mine. And then go to App Data. Roaming. Head down to Super Patcher. Click Backup. And then your backup file will be there. So. That's pat well, that's backing up the device. Patching the device is a similar step. You simply click patch and then it patches the device. I have one that I prepared earlier. I'm keeping this as uh, stock for now. So I'm going to quickly show you the one that is patched. Okay, so here's the one I've patched already. You'd simply hit patch and then that'd be it. As you can see, powered by EverSD. Um, you've still got the same menu, but the music's changed. You can change that back if you wanted to. Everything's the same, except this has now been patched, so this will let you play games through an EverSD cartridge. Now, the next step is to get these games on the SD card. Okay, so the next step is to format the SD card that I've now plugged in to allow it to put games on it. So we're going to need what we'd said earlier, Rufus. And then this allows you to format it to certain specifications. So the 64 gigabyte card I've got plugged in is recognized. Click this option here and choose non-bootable. That will automatically MBR, but if it isn't, that should be MBR. Target system stays the same. Large FAT32 default, that's what we need. The default, we need it as FAT32. That needs to stay as default. And then show advanced format options and uncheck create extended label and icons. And then when you've done that, click start. But make sure that you have selected your memory card first before you do this. So now that's a uh, Formatting the card ready for you. Start. So yeah, that's done now. So I'm going to click close. That's that step out of the way. And then the final step, we're going to head to Everload it. This is a good piece of kit. Let's just click off that and put this as full screen. So these are some games that I've got already. So if you want ROMs, you can either do it the hard way, which is to put in your actual PlayStation 1 disc and back it up with Image Burn or any similar pieces of software. Or you can do it the naughty way, which I'm sure you know what that is, looking for them on Google. Same goes for other consoles, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, standard Nintendo Game Boy. Um, I'll only use four consoles with this, which is PlayStation 1, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. You can play many, many more, but I'm very boring, so this is what I've got at the moment. And these are the games that I've got on here. So what you do is you simply find the ROMs where you've saved them to, you move them to this folder, and then it automatically detects what console it is. If it doesn't, you can do that. You can add genres to it. 
the release date it tells you how many plays you can play on it you can change the title you can add your description uh, there's button mapping options on here you can even scrape the artwork if you wish or you can add your own I've added my own generic kind of artworks because I have OCD and it bugs me that the scraped search art isn't the same as what I want it that's not important that now uh, but when you've loaded all of your games on here these are the ones that I've got you can either choose the internal uh, emulator which is what I'm using now I have no issues or you can click external retro art core and then once you've done that you've selected everything you've got everything how you want it select micro SD we've got it up here what we've just formatted and then we're going to synchronize the selected ROMs with the micro SD so let me just highlight all of the ones that I want putting on here and then ticking any of these boxes will select them all and then we synchronize selected ROMs with micro SD so that's going to load all of those ROMs onto your micro SD card so whilst that's doing that I'm going to quickly just show you for instance if I had my ROM saved here or if I had a folder elsewhere on my PC where the ROMs were saved as soon as I've loaded those ROMs into Everloader if you click on Everloader data and then games that will duplicate those ROMs into these folders here so as you can see uh, the Legend of Zelda ROM and then you've got your GBC file there if you've saved images to the folder sorry if you've saved images to Everloader they will be dumped to this folder and one final uh, thing I should mention providing you've got a super pocket if you do all of this without activating through an original Evercade cartridge which is something that you need to do if you haven't got one you're going to get a load of rainbow colours on the screen so yeah this is going to go all the way to the top I'm not going to wait for that again I have one that I prepared earlier so I'm going to quickly flick over to that now So this is now the fully patched Super Pocket. It's been updated with the Hyper Megatech firmware. It's been patched with the EverSD software. It's been activated with an official cartridge and games have now been loaded onto it through the EverSD. So you'll hit the menu button, navigate down as if you were gonna play an Evercade game. game. And yeah, here we are. These are some games I've got installed. So let's uh, let's go and cool the world. Just to show you that it loads up just fine. Well, this brings back some memories. No issues with frame rates whatsoever. There are a few games that don't work properly, but again, you can choose through Everloader whether to emulate them with the stock um, emulation firmware or to use a different one through RetroArch. And speaking of which, let me just power the device back off. Hold the X button whilst powering on the device and keep holding it. There we are, music has changed. So this is the extra, EverSD extra menu. So you can go through some options here. You can change the music, the boot video, themes, various other stuff. Cartridge, so you can delete uh, the EverSD extra. Uh, you can add a shortcut, basically, you can delete that. I think there's a few fixes on here. I haven't fully explored this, but if we go on to RetroArch, Install RetroArch, so that installs that to the device. Install the RetroArch cores, this is what you need to do prior to the overloading RetroArch settings. Now you can restore defaults and you can add 
a retro arc icon so when you go on your menu with all your games this will appear on there and um, you can also do that for the ever sd extra so instead of holding this and turning it on that will appear as an icon too so yeah that's pretty much it at the moment uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask there is also a discord group which i'll link below but uh, yeah thank you for watching